Dzogchen Today podcast. Welcome to Dzogchen Today's podcast. This series of Dzogchen in everyday life is designed for us to get more familiar with the Dzogchen view and what it can bring in our daily life through personal sharings and short practices. So welcome everyone and thank you for joining us. Uh, I'm Marie-Laure and I will be your host today. So in this uh, fifth episode of Dzogchen in Everyday Life, we will continue to talk about the Dzogchen and the relief of emotion on a daily basis by diving deeper on this family of emotion, which is anxiety and stress. Mm -hmm. And to discuss this topic, I'm very happy to welcome Mila Kienze Rinpoche. Hello. Hello. And uh, Anne Charansol. Hello. So, Mila Kiense, you are a trained scholar, consultant, and teacher of Dzogchen. Mm -hmm. You have been tradi traditionally trained in the Himalayas in Europe. And you are a lineage holder, uh, which is a woman or a man responsible for the living transmission of the great perfection teachings. Yes, yes, we, we try to maintain it. <laughs> sure. And uh, Anne Charansol, you're a pulmonary physician and psychotherapist, and you have been studying and practicing the doctrine for almost, what, 10, more than 10 years? Yes. Okay. So today, the, so we're going to continue to discuss this family of emotion, which is stress and anxiety, and uh, also uh, have a look on the, the doctrine point of view. And... Nowadays, we are quite many uh, suffering of anxiety and, and stress, and it can be either identified as external causes or internal causes. So to discuss that, uh, maybe Anne, could you um, uh, share with us your personal and professional experience as a psychotherapist as well on this uh, emotion family? Yes. Uh, To be uh, con concrete, I may start with an um, um, experience, recent experience. Mm -hmm. You called me to um, ask, ask me if I, I would like to join the team for this podcast. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a really stressful yes. experience. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> and I, I'm listening on explanations and I'm catching pieces of information Oh, short dialogue with Mila Kense, one version in English, mm -hmm. direct record. And suddenly I feel a tension in my chest, which radiates to the throat, mm -hmm. back and shoulders. Mm -hmm. And immediately thoughts are popping up. Um, oh, uh, short, uh, how can I sum up these topics? And oh, I never speak English. Um, Uh, I've never done this kind of thing, uh, how to reach uh, expectations and so on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a short experience of stress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe could you tell us, uh, you know, as you describe how it manifests and uh, what, what is the impact that it can have on, on our lives then? Uh, the impact on our lives uh, uh, is well known regarding work, relationships, health. Uh, for example, health, we know a lot about uh, heart disease or muscle disease. Uh, uh, many Lots of relations. Yes, so on. many things. And regarding um, work, um, we can observe too that uh, stress um, is not um, useful. <laughs> it's, 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 uh, um, it has uh, many consequences mm -hmm on concentration, mm -hmm. which is impaired, um, on um, many consequences on relationships mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and on um, uh, the vision we have about our work and ourselves in this work. So um, to um, um, put too much pressure mm -hmm. on the, uh, the work and pe how people work mm -hmm. is not um, healthy, healthy mm -hmm. it's, uh, and and it's uh, it gives the the, the opposite result yeah. mm -hmm. yes definitely so, awesome. and and could you maybe make a relation between the stress because we were talking about stress right now yes. and anxiety which is mm. Uh, anxiety, related. yes. Anxiety is a repetitive negative projection on the future. Uh, something like a long, dark anticipation movie. Um, the problem is that uh, we think the prediction is true. Mm. 
uh, we enter the movie mm -hmm. and uh, we are uh, we trapped. It. We are trapped by yeah. illusion, mm -hmm. and we are spent all. We are spending all our, our life mm. uh, worrying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So, yeah. so in this way, anxiety is more uh, the, the ground experience, and stress mm. are more the surface experiences. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are more boosts in our daily life. So um, we can say also that stress uh, can be uh, uh, can nurture as well the anxiety. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is more profound than stress. No? Yes. Mm. Yes. And they 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 both have the they have they have the same root. Yeah. Um, fear mm -hmm. and its background aversion and fear fear and, and, and uncertainty uh, about everything mm. uh, not giving answer for uh, the future as you said mm. and so on and so on so it's a uh, It's uh, really related to uh, to uh, the ignorance we have about everything. Yes, mm. and we are trapped by the circle of um, thoughts that respond to each other. Mm. Mm -hmm. Stress says, "Oh, now it's it's very hard," mm. and anxiety replies, "But tomorrow it's going to be worse." Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, it, it, <laughs> and it's a worsening loop. It, <laughs> and we are yeah. we are trapped into it. Yes, it keeps this frame mm. like. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. But so maybe could you tell us um, what is the Dzogchen point of view on this subject? Mm -hmm. Yeah, as we said, uh, it's rooted to uh, ignorance uh -huh. for mm -hmm. sure uh, in the Dzogchen tradition. So we say that um, all these uh, emotions, family, uh, stress, anxiety, fear, mm -hmm. um, there is quite uh, other as well, but the. Um, The main ones are rooted to fear, as you said, Anne. And uh, the, the fear is the expression, the natural expression of ignorance for the, the Dzogchen tradition. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So ignorance is the fact that I do not master, I do not control anything. In fact, mm -hmm. in reality, I do not control my future. Uh, even in one minute, uh, I do not know what I will do or what I will think, etc. Mm -hmm. And um, the uncertainty of the the rules or the the way the world is uh, is working is developing. Mm -hmm. And this is the the main point uh, for the Dzogchen tradition. Whenever you are um, in connection with ignorance, so fear pops up. Mm -hmm. And when fear pops up, you lose your usual um, patterns of the reality, your usual habits, mm -hmm. uh, thinking, uh, feeling the reality. Mm -hmm. Then you you lose. Uh, it's it's a way, in a sense, you you lose yourself in the process. And then you, you do not know uh, what action, what uh, what thought you can you can have, what action you can you can take, and then uh, the the future is completely dark. So this is why it's ignorance because you do not know what you will do mm -hmm. uh, next mm -hmm. in, the, in in a really 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 near future, mm -hmm. and and then uh, as you do not know, then the emotions. Uh, arise on its own mm -hmm. uh, due to the fact you do not master, you do not know what, uh, what's what going to happen. Going, yes, okay. exactly. And Which then, is a natural state, actually, that it we is. will never know, but it's yeah, the way to but, handle it that is... But is. as Anne said uh, just before, mm -hmm. uh, it's it's related to uh, the fact that you lose yourself in the, in the mm -hmm. process. Mm -hmm. You lose yourself mm -hmm. in the emotion, in the sensation mm -hmm. and so on. You get trapped in it. Exactly. Yes. And then you, you lose sight of everything else. Mm -hmm. So the main point is to know that uh, we are uh, we are um, we are sinking into it because of the body sensation, the bodily sensation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, because fear uh, is, as you said, mm -hmm. fear uh, you you can feel it in your body. It means that yes. uh, you have really. Uh, bodily uh, connection to the emotion tangible mm. tangible mm. Uh, mm. you really feel and this mm. is the uh, you know as humans as human beings we are uh, completely trapped by mm. our sensations and then uh, when you feel these sensations they overcome every uh, uh, every experiences so are you saying that the sensation is not real in itself and exactly. act because this is something we never question actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. we yes. always believe that the 
sensation is real. And exactly. That yes. It lasts. So and that it's unique. Yes. But mm -hmm. in this kind of experience, uh, you have several factors actually. The mm -hmm. thoughts, mm -hmm. uh, all mm -hmm. the thoughts you mm -hmm. you have about your sensation. Oh, this is this is anxiety, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. this is this is not uh, joy, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, you have the bodily sensations, and you have the emotion, which is uh, the uh, the thought the thought you have on your mm -hmm. sensation. That's the consequences. Mm -hmm. of yes. The so you have several factors in it. Mm. And it's, it's, it's interesting to observe these different factors working together. The way we select information uh, to, that leads to, to um, identify the experience as a dangerous or, dangerous or unpleasant yeah. or difficult. Uh, the second, the sensation. And third, the thoughts that uh, mix present, yeah. past and future and turn and turning around to issues how unbearable the situation is or will be and how to manage it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we could say that then anxiety, for instance, is a kind of pattern that mm -hmm. uh, because we are used to be anxious, we'll, we'll be anxious, exactly. like a repetitive... Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. it's a usual habit. Loop, <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, so... So it's a it's a grand pattern, mm -hmm. and stress is uh, what feeds it. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, stress stress is more uh, at the surface of, of our experience, mm -hmm. uh, but anxiety is more profound, mm -hmm. and this is why you know some some of the people who are really um, entangled by anxiety mm -hmm. can even just wake up uh, feeling anxious. Yes, mm -hmm. and this is you know this is a, a really it's more. Um, deeply uh, en engage in our experience mm. than stress. Mm -hmm. Stress is mm -hmm. more uh, due to the Function. conditions. Mm. Yeah, yes. they, mm. they are transitory experiences. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you were saying also that um, anxiety is also temporary. Yes. But in the perception, it may give the impression that it really yeah, lasts longer. It lasts longer, long. yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm. And uh, maybe uh, as a practitioner and... Uh, have you already observed any improvement on um, in your relationship with these emotions uh, by practicing? Uh, yes, uh, at the time uh, I practice, if if stress is there, uh, I turn my attention direct, directly to to it, and um, um, I train to meet it in a gentle manner. Um, I let it be. I relax in it. And uh, this open and welcoming attitude leads to space and clarity. And at some point, uh, the feeling dissolves. Mm -hmm. So you are, not, uh, you are neither fighting it nor flying it. Yes, mm -hmm. and that's the, the tricky point. Mm -hmm. Because it's difficult for us to uh, give yes. up this reaction. Well, yeah. Either <laughs> yes. we enter in, in, in a way or yeah. in yes. the other, but <laughs> never in the, in the middle, right? Yes. yes, and the second tricky point is when the, the stress feelings dissolve, uh, we, we, are, we want to, to have again this experience again mm. and again. This opening experience. Yes. When you feel Yeah, grasping yes. this mm. experience. Relax. And yeah. the tendency then could be, um, I would like, I expect mm -hmm. this relief yes. to come again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How, how can I hold this experience? Yes. yes. It could be I like a trap. Like yes, I want to go back there. <laughs> <laughs> like a drug, right? Yes. You yes. Want to, to but your it, yes. Mm -hmm. but I if I have this kind of expectation when I begin to practice, uh, it could yeah, it there is no can, practice. No practice, yeah. mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. It's another illusion, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the uh, actually all the practice of, uh, of the Dzogchen tradition, uh, like the, the Buddhist practice and, and others, uh, is first of all to make things clear, you know, just to, to see directly, uh, okay, what's going on now, just now, when I am looking at my mind, what is going on in, in it? 
which is actually the, the most difficult no, at the beginning because it's, sure. it's everything is mixed, right? Yeah, everything is entangled mm -hmm. or we think that it's entangled. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we have difficulties to make differences between the discursive thoughts, between the bodily sensations, even the, the mind sensation mm -hmm. and the emotions. The mind sensation. Yes, mm -hmm. because uh, there is a difference between uh, feeling it directly in the body or thinking okay. th that we are feeling it in the body. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually this one is the, the most tricky uh, mm. um, of time. all, mm -hmm. just to uh, trying to uh, isolate it mm. from others. Mm -hmm. So uh, as, you, as we said just before, um, anxiety, stress and so on, and uh, actually it's the, the case for all the emotions, uh, they are um, uh, multiple factors. They are mm -hmm. just not, you know, anxiety. Anxiety is just not one thing. It's multiple factors that lead to the thought of uh, reality, uh, um, the reality of the anxiety. So if I understand you well, I mean, to start to feel a relief of emotion, we need, first of all, to, to, to be clear with dismantle it. this exactly. uh, concept of anxiety and to understand I mean, to recognize mm -hmm. very uh, clearly directly mm -hmm. what you were saying about thoughts, emotion, uh, sensation, yes. or thought about sensation. Yes. Okay. So this is the first point, actually, uh, mm -hmm. with the with the Dzogchen practice. Mm -hmm. You have to make um, everything clear to be able to um, use them to recognize something else, uh, which is the ground of our mind. Uh, and this is the, the main point. Uh, mm -hmm. Making clear it will also appease all the process. So uh, appeasing the anxiety, for example, it's uh, just recognizing its real nature. Mm -hmm. First of all, it's compounded. Mm -hmm. uh, you have several factors, not only one called anxiety. Mm -hmm. So recognizing all these factors would lead to this Im traditional image that we could have of this lake that is uh, yeah. completely Still. flat and, mm -hmm. and, and crystal clear. We yes. Can say that. yes, it is. So yes. we can see deeper what is... Uh, exactly. Okay. And this is, uh, this is actually the ground meditation for mm -hmm. the, the Dzogchen tradition. Uh, it's called, and uh, like in, in other traditions as well, it's called uh, shamata in Sanskrit, mm -hmm. uh, shine, uh, which is the... Um, Uh, we say which is the peace of mind mm -hmm. state and we start uh, all the training by, by it. So maybe could you, for our listeners, give us uh, a small practice? A small trick? Yeah, yes. <laughs> a how, magical how, trick yes, how to we stop could anxiety? <laughs> <laughs> I think many, many of us would be very... Uh, yes, yeah, me, me either. Anxious But, uh, to, to... Actually, there is no magical trick, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> So there is th this practice, uh, the grand practice of, mm -hmm. the, of the, the Dzogchen tradition, which is uh, shamatha. Uh, first of all, we need to train uh, just for five minutes a day. It's, uh, it's really perfect. It's uh, enough? Can, yeah, it's enough. Mm -hmm. We can just start by it because first of all, we have to create uh, um, a good habit, if I can say that, uh, just to uh, replace slowly step by step, uh, the, the bad habits we have, the negative habits mm -hmm. to, just, uh, uh, to just stick with anxiety, with stress and so on. So every day, um, we say in the tradition, it's better to, to, to do it in, uh, in the morning because we are not uh, yet stressed by our daily life and the work and so on. So uh, it's the best to start by it, five minutes a day. So we just sit uh, quietly uh, in, a, in a corner of uh, our flat or our house. Um, and the, 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 the quiet atmosphere, is, it, in the beginning, it's quite uh, important. And then we concentrate, first of all, uh, as usual, as we said also in the previous podcast, yes. uh, we just focus on one point mm -hmm. with our eyes, which will which will help us to just focus uh, um, actually in our mind as well. Mm -hmm. 
And when you do that, when you do not try to do anything else, you start to be clear with whatever pop up in the mind. Uh, and you can make uh, slowly, day after day, you can make the difference between the thoughts, for example, and the sensations mm -hmm. and the emotions, etc., mm -hmm. as we said uh, already. So here, uh, after just a few days, you will be really clear about the sensations you, are, you have in your body, uh, the bodily sensations, mm -hmm. and then you, you just concentrate on it directly. Okay. You do not try to do something with them, with the body sensations. But for example, if you uh, feel some stress in your chest, some anxiety in your stomach or, or so on, um, at your throat as well, mm -hmm. you just focus on, on it and then you just remain on it. So the first thing uh, that will um, happen in your experience if you are just uh, directly focused mm -hmm. it's that the, the sensation, the bodily sensation uh, the unpleasant sensation if it's connected to anxiety for example will reduce mm -hmm. directly on its own mm -hmm. uh, in a natural way mm -hmm. so again I insist it's not a magical trick mm -hmm. it's just uh, uh, being directly clear uh, clearly focused on mm -hmm. to what uh, anxiety is really and so we just focus onto this sensation and slowly the sensation disappear okay. mm -hmm. but but it will come back for sure mm -hmm. because you know this is the way the we habits. work yeah. as human beings mm -hmm. so we work as uh, usual patterns mm -hmm. and then whenever it pops up then we just uh, refocus on it directly and then it will appease on its own so it's called the uh, the self uh, appeasing state or the self peaceful experience mm -hmm. which is the um, um, the real nature of the emotions or sensations that reveal themselves directly mm -hmm. Okay. And then if you do that uh, just five minutes a day, every day, then you will see your life will change a lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a nice promise. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> gradually, so it, the, the relationship. Yeah, the relationship between. Bet with the stress and anxiety is mm. changing. It's yeah, changing. Exactly. Yes. And so, mm. Yeah. Mm. So we encourage our listeners to to practice uh, this uh, this practice mm -hmm, actually mm -hmm. yeah, every day five minutes a day <laughs> yes and <laughs> do not worry I guess if the the worries and the anxiety comes back it's normal right we can uh, say actually that. yes and it will it, take some time yeah yeah and uh, you know it's when when you engage in this you have uh, quite a lot of time to just you know reach a point that you will be completely peaceful but it will happen. Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much thank you. for, thank for you very sharing much. your experiences and this practice with us. Thanks. Thank you. It's a nice place to wrap up and uh, stay tuned to our listeners for the next episode. You can find more episodes on your website, zogchentoday.org. If you enjoyed this episode, please rate and review us on your favorite podcast app and share it with your friends. We will be pleased to receive your feedbacks on podcast at zogchentoday.org. <laughs>